Hey you guys, what's up? It's Jacob here again with NextGenerationAcoustics.com Coming at you guys with the video I've been wanting to make <laughs> Been needing to make for quite some time And that is Do foam diffusers really work or not? Let's go into it So lately I've been seeing foam diffusers on Amazon, just getting sponsored as you peruse through getting other things that I need. And I thought I needed to address this topic because they do seem to be getting a lot of sales, reviews, etc. And I want to talk about why it's really important to have wood as your material and your diffusers and not foam. Number one being foam is not the proper, uh, it's, it's an absorptive material. It's not a diffusive or a reflective material. Basically, what's going to happen is the sound is going to encounter the acoustic foam, be absorbed, some of the treble, not much of the mids, not any of the bass, and uh, the rest is just going to be reflected right back out into the room. So how they can even call that a diffuser, I have no idea. It is ultimately false advertising. Um Wood is typically and conventionally known as the ideal acoustic material. Now, why is that? Just think about it. It's specifically because of its density, but let's look at the music world. Not only are diffusers made out of wood, but drums are made out of wood, violins are made out of wood, guitars are made out of wood. Many instruments are made from wood. And that's because wood has a very specific density that is very musical and good to understand or easy to understand and predict. Actually, to the point that they can do testing on wood. Let's, let's go into this. Wood itself, when we look at, there's a study uh, from Vienna, the 13th International Congress on Sound and Vibration uh, in Vienna, Austria. They published a paper here. Um, and if we scroll down to page seven, excuse me, if we scroll all the way down to page 10 and their study, we can see wood species for musical instruments. And it goes into this. It's an understatement to say that wood is a unique material used in the art of musical instrument craftsmanship. After a long period of evolution in its history of mankind, the skill and devotion of luthiers established the most appropriate wood species typical of instruments. And it goes down uh, talking about how wood is basically ideal for its uh, remarkable qualities and acoustical properties for uh, instrument production. Um, then we can go down to when they're testing for defects in wood and they're testing for uh, like trees to see if that they, they're defective or not, if they have uh, strong grain, if they're worth being used to be built, they can actually do an ultrasonic test to see if the the structure of the wood is sound and that the tree is usable for construction. So that is called an acousto-ultrasonic testing technique. And basically, um, they can even do that, the same tech testing technique on finished wood to test the density of it, um, the different frequency response of the wood is what's used to be tested to figure out whether or not the wood is of high quality, low quality, the trees of high quality or low quality. So this um, test is so predictable. The frequency response of wood is so predictable that we can actually test the quality of the wood using an acousto ultrasonic test to figure out whether or not the wood is high quality, okay? So I also want to look at this article right here that's talking about wood as an acoustic insulation. And uh, this is talking about how whenever you're building a structure, it's important to consider all 
factors if you want a uh, building that is acoustically sound. It's not transferring noise too much. It's not too loud. And it's saying that although uh, wood is there, there are denser construction materials uh, when you compare it to steel and concrete that can be used to constrain uh, construct a framework of the building. Wood is of a lower density, which is why it's able to absorb vibrations and sound well. So it's not so reflective that it's not able to absorb sound at all it does have a predictable frequency response which is why they're able to do the acousto ultrasonic testing on quality of wood to figure out if it's a good tree or not if it's a good board or not etc the specific frequency response of wood is tried and true tested and known whereas foam is just literally an absorptive product it doesn't really have anything that is diffusing about it. It is just absorbing some and reflecting most. So I hope that gives you some more information on why you should be using wood diffusers instead of foam diffusers. And if you see them, just know they're a scam. And uh, this kind of ties into a, my other previous video that I've done. What's the difference uh, between these foam base traps and real base traps? And I'll break down why they're different, uh, what the pros and cons are between the two. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, hope this was informative to you guys. And if you like, it if you found it helpful please make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll get back on here very soon to talk to you guys again about more acoustics related topics now if you would like your room to be treated and you're not sure what kind of diffusers you need where you want to place your diffusers if you even need diffusers at all feel free to hit me up fill out a free room analysis form or book a personalized consultation with me and I will help you figure out exactly what you need for your space. I can even make a 2D rendering of your space to show you where the treatment needs to be perfectly to scale and go through all of it with you to make sure that you know exactly what to do when it comes to treating your room. So thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to y'all again very soon.